Voter suppression is actually a much bigger problem um, than we think, and it definitely does affect a lot of things. Something that I'm in favor of massively, heavily actually, because I believe in uh, the idea that we need more people to take part in our democracy. Uh, if you look at the when the president is elected, the amount of people that vote is like a sad joke. Um, I think like, may, is it more than half of the country doesn't even vote? Like that's ridiculous. But um, again, voter suppression is very bad and it happens a lot in typically in the southern states. And there's been a history of that in the U.S. with this shit like poll taxes, which eventually was outlawed. Um, but we had actually, uh, actually, if you recall, the Trump admin was trying to grab um, all the voter information in order to look. And what they started doing was they started to suppress um, those people who had voted against him. And also people were refusing to then uh, register to vote. And we actually talked about a story um a couple months ago, I don't recall which month it was in, maybe like March or something, but a federal judge had uh, struck down a Texas voter ID law, and to my understanding, this is the same case except there was um, adjustments made to attempt to make it acceptable, but to my understanding, it failed. So, because today we have a story that a federal judge has struck down the Texas voter ID law. So, the Hill says... A federal court in Texas on Wednesday struck down the state's controversial voter identification law, granting an injunction that bars state officials from enforcing the measure. U.S. District Judge Nelva Gonzalez-Ramos ruled that the law was enacted with the deliberate intent to discriminate against black and Hispanic voters. Ramos said that it violates the Voting Rights Act and the 14th and 15th Amendments of the Constitution. The original 2011 law... Um, Senate Bill 14, one of the most restrictive in the nation, requires registered voters to present one of seven forms of government-issued photo ID in order to cast a ballot. If you, are, if you are already registered, there should be no need for any of that. And we've seen these things be gamed constantly. And we saw it really with the DNC as well. Um, and there's a lot of tactics like this, right? So a vast majority of the country is independent, okay? So when you have that, uh, well, it's not the majority, but rather a plurality. So it has the biggest faction. But if you close it off to independence, you're going to have less voters. And many people who are going to then um, vote for somebody who's more like a Bernie Sanders-esque candidate. So that's often a, a typical move by people who don't want people to vote. That is a form, in my opinion, of voter suppression. So doing things like deadlines, like the whole deadline garbage, make it really, really fucking close to the date to vote because there's no reason to make such an early damn deadline. Some of the deadlines were stupid early. So it's like that really, and we looked at it because I don't forget what the percentage was, but was it something like 70%? um was a participant within the france election and here it's like virtually nothing and it's so sad and you wonder why i mean we need automatic registration i mean how stupid is that um but they say lawmakers responded to a previous judicial push pushback against that bill by passing senate bill 5 a revamped version of the voter id this summer uh the judge on wednesday issued an injunction barring enforcement of that measure as well. That measure created options for voters um, who say they cannot reasonably obtain one of the seven forms of identification outlined by the state. But in her ruling Wednesday, Ramos said that the revamp measure preserves the original bill's discriminatory features. And another form of voter suppression, actually, I forgot to mention, um, is gerrymandering. And that, that's the truth. So when you gerrymander, basically what you're doing is you're picking your constituencies instead of the constituency picking you. So you take the biggest, uh, the most liberal area, and what you do is you fill that shit up into one district so that that's one district, and then all of the, like, tiny-ass conservative towns, you just, it's like little portions. So you end up having, like, fucking four to one. So even though the population is by far bigger. It's not even close. It's blowing out the fucking water. 
So you have gerrymandering. The Supreme Court recently ruled on a bunch of different gerrymandering cases saying that, hey, this is on the basis of race and that's why we're going to strike it down. We talked uh, a couple months ago about uh, a Texas judge also um, basically taking down a uh, voter ID law and now we have it yet again. What's up guys, it's Saul Hill here. You guys are watching the Progressive Voice. Make sure you guys click subscribe down below. We're fighting Donald Trump tooth and nail and we need your help.